And welcome back to Deus Ex. Alright, let's go save our boy downstairs. I I looked ahead at like what the hell's down here. Not much. There's very little to nothing that we that we on our own can use, but it's like um what's out there, so to speak, do you actually have? I think if that leads in this direction, so yeah, we get no explorer boss because yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would be. Oh, huh, really? Interesting. Alright, so it's New heck. Eh, what's new? Right, so that's a forest one away. God, that goes really well. Alright, <laughs> yes, I know about the connection. Connection. Jesus Christ. Access grant. Cool. So, so is there only? Do, 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 do. Oh, that was the other passport. Uh huh. Well, actually, I gotta start. Also, it helps having these fucking pocket secretaries, if anything. Because that's like, that to me is like, they're only the main important thing I ever care about in this one, it's just those. The pocket secretaries have use because the fucking goddamn, uh... What the hell's it? Um, because the fucking guide that I'm using doesn't have it. Like any of the codes, because it's like, oh, well, you can't have experience for that shit. So it's like, you gotta hack. You gotta. You just gotta. God damn it. Huh, I'm thinking kidding about the fucking Tai Young medical thing. We're not lying. This is creepy. To like about the right, so it's apparently a breakable wall I need to deal with because there's geth. Like skimming over that's like the only real important thing I actually care about in this room. Or yeah, part of this part. <laughs> the part of the part that parts this way through its own part. Look around, we are <sighs> now. I can't think of the fucking uh, what the hell is the name of that damn song from uh, it was a corn song, it was Dead Bodies Everywhere. I think it was. I think that was it. I can't remember the fucking lyrics to it though, which is horrible. <laughs> Oh no, I got detected. It was a Access four granted. fucking... I have four nukes and crap. Okay, so... Freezy, freezy, freezy. Is there anything in here of use? Doesn't look good. Other than a computer, a few drainage ditches, which is hilarious. Yes, and use here. Looking like Eskimo Ferrari. Alright, let's go down the way. Adam? Adam Jensen? Good grief, lad. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. <laughs> I'm here to get you out, Dr. Ferris. Jesus, Jensen. I told silly that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Dr. Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day, he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. 
Upgrades. That do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from it. I see. Dr. Faraday, we need to free Megan from the isolation zone. I've got a plan to distract the guards. Three lab accidents. I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get me and Eric to agree. But timing them to occur at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. There's one thing you're forgetting, Lad. They can track our GPL signals. I know. But I'm hoping you might have the solution to that problem. Mm. Sevchenko's viral program. Of course! I shouldn't have underestimated you. The silly gave it to me before he disappeared. Here you are. Upload it onto the central security computer. It will scramble their scanners. I would have done it myself, but I'm just a scientist. Don't sell yourself short, dog. Uh, Once I upload do. the virus, it'll be time to act. I'll signal you. A vibration in your GPL. Be ready. Understood, lad. But do be careful. Okay, so we're gonna have a lot of fun coming up with this. Hopefully I will Just saw the packet secretary, I don't know what that one was. Seems weird. Come on, little guy, you're coming with me. Wait, why the hell am I throwing you around when I've got the fucking other robot here with me? Hi, Boobsy. That might be why. Get him. Don't hurt the robot. Doesn't like it. Alright, well, there's a damn this my way. Can I add, add it without doing anything else?
Success, Grant. Boy. Uh, enemies, please. And you turn off. Uh. Boom. Here we go. Pritchard, are you still tracking the scientists? Of course. Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm sending it now. They have to feel it. Uh, how many grenades do I have? One. Or two. <laughs> yeah, we took a little boy. <laughs> Thank you. Take those. Fucking robot was just like, fuck your shit. Definitely will take that. Unfortunately, I'm also full. Uh, take that. Because that'll be the last of my ammo. Yeah. Just think that. Got one field that. If I could just. I mean, if I got rid of the nuke viruses and the MP grenades, I'd be fine with that, but. Yeah, it's whatever. Plus, I really need the fucking rocket launcher ammo, so. Yeah. Okay, so. What do we get? Burning through a lot of this revolver ammo, I'll tell you that much. Ah, oh, boy. Uh. Oh, apparently, I missed fucking three hay boxes of happy ammo. So, yeah, this place is weird. So, guess who this fucking fight is? Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, so... You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say how clever. <laughs> a biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. You're creating a kill switch. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market. I am here. I can see you in the fucking left side corner. All because here. you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people. With the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately? <laughs> No. Oh, yes. This looks weird as fuck. You figured out our plans, but not soon enough. Dispose of him, Namir. And this time do it right. You should have stayed dead, Jensen. Whee! He's got the fucking, you know the Mass Effect Geth? I think they were called them. I think they were called the Geth. He's got those fucking Geth legs. Look at his fucking legs. Ugh. Behind you, Jensen. He got stealth, motherfucker. To be honest, I thought I killed you the first time. Holy shit. I'm out of ammo. And I died because I apparently did not... I did not take into account where the other grenades were going, so... Whoops. Who knew? Skip, please. You have no 
Neither do you, and I'm here, so yeah, whatever. really put my fucking finger on it whether or not I actually um yeah, screw it let's just fucking go for it the old fashioned way oh wait I have fucking fucking out I have typhoons Lee, your ass is about to get set. If I can remember which fucking button. Oh my god, am I not being able to be used this thing? Son of a bitch. I have no neuropathy. Oh fuck me, that was the reason why. That's why it was such a pain in the ass. I'm doing this fucking fight without an opposite shit. Ah, no. Shit, that was such a bad time. Updates, I don't need you right now. So how many fucking missiles was that? That was like three missiles, a couple of fucking revolver shots, and a shotgun. Apparently I really had to play it cheap with the fucking, um, LAS rifle, but then again I didn't have the eyesight shit. Finish it. Not until you tell me where Megan is. You've lost her, Jensen. Men like us. Okay, so, weird thing happened with one of the fucking pop-ups on Windows. It actually crashed my fucking Deus Ex like a retard, so I did the fight over again. However, I did it completely different from the original thing that I actually had recorded. As in, I used a bit of my shotgun ammo, my revolver, and played them a bit with a fucking combat rifle, and it killed them. No missiles were used, no typhoons were used. I 
can. I, I, I would like to take the fucking right thing, but I just can't. Here we go. Aaron, is that you? Not exactly. Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you. You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries? They came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't. And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David, what are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here... Richard! Patch me into Seraph, now! Adam, please! He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. But it does work, Megan. Zao damn near shut me down. No. No, that can't be true. Have I ever lied to you? I'll reset your software. It'll put things right again. I've insulated your chip to prevent external signals from reaching it. It's something I developed recently using nanotechnology. <laughs> Nanomachine, son. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Saraf here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. Oh god, he's modified the control signal. Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. Hugh never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam! I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. What is with the fucking white walls, man? I mentioned why the fuck this shit is like this. Uh, there was something. I knew there was one thing of like real importance. I think this may be it. But it's like, it's, honestly, it's like weird based on a sort of, um, oh god, what the hell was it, um, oh god, I'm not gonna, oh no, I will. Access granted. It was like this whole story about how it's like, yeah, we're him part of this whole thing and how she wanted to see him again and all this other jazz and it was like, it was really... Like, it hurts, like, in a sense where it's just, like, she really was protecting him, so to speak. But it's like, uh, <laughs> why'd you go and do that, girl? Why'd you go and break his heart? Wow, they did not get to take that off a fucking thing like that. Shit. It might be in here. I don't know. Also, the white does not help. It's something. Huh, never really noticed it there. There's the ground with It's all this shit. I don't remember if it... It's, it sucks, because I can't see shit. And the fact that everything in this room is fucking white. But whatever. Alright, I gotta stop here.
here. So, in the next episode of Deus Ex Human Revolution, I think we're on the final two, because as soon as we do this shit with, um, with clearing a path for her, uh, we have to go to the Arctic, which is going to be a hilarious thing, because I'm just going to use all my Typhoon ammo on everyone. <laughs> So, remember to always stay alpha, always play games on the hardest difficulty, and I will see you in the next episode of Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Adios.